that's a good fish. What is that? Oh, oh my god! That's a hell no. What is up, Slabaroonies? We have got the crew. The whole Slab crew is here. Let's go. And uh, we are. We're excited. We're going on another Slabtastic adventure. We're going camping. We're going overnight camping at Kerr Lake. Some folks know it as Bugs Island. Uh, and we are going to camp and fish and show y'all some sweet camping stuff that we got. So really excited about this video, but to be perfectly honest, I have no idea where it's gonna go. But we do know we're gonna do three things. The destination is we're gonna left. go fishing, we're gonna try to catch some fish, area. we're gonna cook some fish, we're gonna eat them, and then we're just gonna have a good freaking time. I mean, we're gonna get our campsite set up, and we're gonna have a good time. So we'll see what happens. Pumped. ourselves a little feast this morning right by the campfire Whew, looks so good <laughs> This is legit better. Hmm. Might be also because we're soaking it in peanut oil. <laughs> Eating right today. Eat good. Bone apple tea. <laughs> <laughs> Cooks extraordinaire. I'm about to dig in. This looks so good. It's also the easiest. We are done with breakfast. We had an awesome campsite breakfast, and uh, now it's time to go fishing. And as you can see, it's a little choppy out there. It's been in the 90s. I mean, for the past like two, three weeks. So this stiff north wind has come in and uh, welcomed fall with a bang. It's gonna be really interesting to see what the fish are doing. Not really sure how they're gonna respond to this weather to be honest with you, but uh, oh look, there's a bald eagle. The things you see while camping. I'll tell you what, this first night of camping has been uh, A, a lot of work, but B, super fun super rewarding waking up super early this morning before the sun came out and cooking those eggs and that bacon and drinking some cowboy coffee that was so cool man but i'm ready to fish now when we get back from fishing we'll go over our whole setup and, and talk about some products a little bit more as well but i'm gonna go bass fishing and show you all the bass fishing stuff but simultaneously we're gonna have two videos in one here these guys <laughs> These guys are up to no good. <laughs> okay, it's weird. Uh, these guys are going to take the uh, the slab wagon out. And this is the newest member of the slab dynasty team. 
little John boat we picked up, aptly named the Slab Wagon, and they're gonna try to go and catch some dinner. So, some crappie, some pan fish, something like that, and see if we can't make some, uh, some little fish sliders, cheesy fish sliders for tonight, so. That is the plan, so let's get after it. Fish, what is that? Holy shit. Stay on. We got one, guys. We got one. Feels big, too. What are you? Holy crap. This is a big fish. Oh, he's peeling drag. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That feels like a big catfish or something. I can't really tell. It feels like a catfish. That's what it feels like. Hell, it could be a big bass. I don't. I don't even know. Ooh, he just he just shifted some hooks. Oh, jeez. What are you? Come on up. Come on up. Come on. This is a big son of a gun right here, y'all. Don't know what it is. I really have no idea. But I'm guessing a big catfish. Holy moly, this is a giant. I, I might just have a fish snagged in the tail or something, to be honest with you. Because he's fighting so weird, I, I really don't feel like distinct head kicks. Oh yeah, it's a big cat. Ah, oh, come on. Oh no. There he goes. Sweet. Hey, that'll keep. <sighs> We're eating fish tonight. <laughs> there he is, y'all. Whiskers. Man, that was that was a tough fight. I had a feeling it was catfish. I was right. Ah. There he is, guys. Big old channel cat, it looks like. Get a good look at him. That'll be some nice fillets for tonight. Boys will be happy about that. I can't lie, y'all. I'm not like mega stoked. I caught a catfish while I'm bass fishing, but I'm happy that we've got some meat for the table tonight. Matthew loves cats. Oh. So he's gonna be pretty jealous. That was a fun fight. So nothing wrong with that. Not what I'm looking for, but I wonder what they're up to right now. Let's go see what they're doing. There it is. That's a good one. That's on. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Holy crap. Holy crap, how do we deal with this? I don't know. How do we deal with this? I don't know. Dude, we're eating. We're eating him. Dude, right. we're eating hey, him. It's okay. Let, let, uh... How, how do I let Dragon okay. on it's this? Okay. It's okay, it's alright. Yeah, that's Jeez. good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> hey, fight him, fight him, fight him, fight him. Let him wear himself out. Holy oh crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh 
god. Let him wear himself out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that pull, I thought it was a huge bass. I thought it was a strike breaker. Dude, be careful. He's at the trolling motor. He's at the trolling motor. Be careful. Big car, dude. Oh my god. Siege, Siege, he's right there. snap oh my god oh my god oh my god easy easy here, here. easy do we have duct tape do we have electrical tape yes. we need to tape his mouth okay. look what we have conquered a monster long nose dog look at this thing that is a heavy fish armor plating oh my goodness gracious Look at that fish, y'all! Woo! He fought like hell. I'll tell you, he was not on 12-pound fluoro. He was not coming to the boat without a fight. So I've heard mixed reviews about guard, but I'm always down to try new fish. We're staking him, baby. Look at that beef. Oh, let's go! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and face Steve. No, I'm facing. Matt Siege calling, it sounds like. Yo. Yo, yo. What's up? Oh, oh not much. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, it, so it sounds like y'all are doing good. Matt, you caught the biggest fish of his life. No way. What? Yeah. Gar. Gar? <laughs> Gar. We've got it in the boat. We're on the way back to the shore right now. We're gonna cook him up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Holy yeah. crap! I've got about a five-pound catfish as well, so so we'll be we'll be eating good. What? Do you know what kind of catfish it is? I think it's a channel cat. It's kind of grayish. It's it looks sort of like a blue cat, but it's it's more grayish. Got some spots. We're almost back at camp, so we're gonna we're gonna get him. All right, sound, sounds good. I'm going to stay out for a little bit longer and then uh, probably come back in about an hour and a half. Yeah, so, sounds good. See if I can't get a couple good bass. All right. All right, dude. Well, good luck. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. Right. We'll see you. Feels more like a bass right there. Wow, he just loaded up, guys. I could not even tell that was a fish. He feels more like a bass, although I cannot quite tell. Ugh. But we got one. Let's go. Oops. I don't know. This might be another cat. I don't think so. I'm feeling some more head kicks. Yeah, that's a bass. That's a bass. Not a bad one either. Yeah. Not a bad one. Sweet. That's a good one right there, y'all. Check that out right there, y'all. Nice, healthy two and a half right there. Beautiful. Let's put them in the live one.
Please don't move. Oh boy, yeah, this is uh, it's gonna be tough. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can let me get on this side. Man, that armor is tough. I don't feel like you need a saw if you need to go through it and then underneath. You almost got <laughs> skin it. Go through it. Ah. Doing like that. Yeah, there you go. See? And these are some serious scales, man. You gotta get them in their like weak point, I guess. <laughs> Guys, we filleted all our fish, and uh, we're done for the day, honestly. We said we were going to go back out and try to catch some more, but we're pretty tired. It's only 3.30, and we are pooped. But um, I did want to show you all what we got working with with our campsite. So, again, we're at, uh, we're at Kerr Lake, and this is just one of the state parks. And, I mean, just a beautiful view there, guys. You can't get any better than that. But first thing, I wanted to show you all this truck tent that I got. This Kodiak canvas. And uh, man, this thing is so nice. It takes a little while to get set up, but man, last night with the wind howling and it getting super cold, I was completely sheltered and warm. It's just a solid canvas material tent really really happy that I bought this thing I got it used off of off of Facebook marketplace but uh, we're gonna link all this stuff in the description if you guys want to buy anything please you know it helps us out if you if you actually click the link in the description to buy this stuff uh, that actually helps our channel grow it actually makes us money uh, to be perfectly honest with you so we get a commission from that it's called Amazon affiliates uh, so you know if you're gonna buy something just buy it through our link you know might as well so here is the inside of this puppy. And uh, got a little mattress pad, a double mattress pad from, what's the company? Hikinchur. Really nice, didn't take too long to blow up. And then man, this is what's really made the difference is this big old double sleeping bag from Teton Sports. And y'all, I just went all out on this, honestly. I, I spent kind of a lot of money between the tent, the pad, and the sleeping bag. I, I spent a little bit of money, but wow, it's almost better than sleeping in your own bed at home. It, it really was. This thing keeps you so warm. It's so heavy and thick, uh, and it's a double size. I got that because, you know, I figured I'd probably go camping with my wife as well. So that can serve us both. But yep, that's my tent set up. There's CJ's sleeping situation. I don't know how he did it, guys, but he survived a night just laying outside in the harsh, cold wind on nothing but this pad. <clears throat> the AirLive 2000 and some towels. Props to you, Siege.
not really much else to see on our campsite. I mean, we've got kind of a kind of a mess going on here. Smorgasbord of different pots and pans and a, a coffee percolator uh, and whatnot. CJ's frying up some fish right now. I believe that's the catfish. And here's Matt's tent right here. This is what he slept in, kind of a single person A-frame from Stan Sport. Nice little tent in there. And then we just got our chairs and that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. This fire grate is what we've been cooking on, this thing right here. And then that's a skillet. But yeah, I mean, for our first time guys, a pretty sweet little setup. And like I said, we're gonna link all the stuff in the description. We did also cook, <clears throat> heat up our coffee on this guy right here, this Jet Boil. This is the actual burner part right here. This is called the Jet Boil Mighty Mo. Uh, really small, when you screw it off, it, it packs in and fits nicely. I mean, it can basically fit in your pocket. Uh, but we got a big canister here for it. Um, we're not really backpacking or, or traveling light so we weren't too worried about bringing too much stuff well that's it because yeah pretty sweet not bad for our first time camping but if you guys want to get into camping and you're looking to purchase some stuff maybe some of the stuff we've got here click the links in our description to go buy that stuff uh, and I'll be just straight up with y'all you, you probably hear a lot of other youtubers asking to do that right they're like hey click the links in the description what it is is called Amazon Affiliates, and basically how it works is we include links to products on Amazon's website. When you go and buy that product or buy another product and Amazon recognizes that you've clicked our link, then we get a commission from Amazon. It does not cost you anything extra. You just buy the product that you're gonna buy. So, you know, with that being said, if you wanna help us out, help us out, right? We're a growing YouTube channel. Uh, anything helps right now, and we'd really appreciate it. If you do decide to buy some camping stuff or any stuff that we link down in the description, uh, then go ahead and click those links before you buy them. And that way we get free money from Amazon, baby. All right, guys, we have our gar cooking. Those are gar steaks. And right here, we have a finished piece of gar. Doesn't look too bad, but Matthew is going to do the honors here with the first bite. Let's give it a taste. It's a little chewy. A little muddiness to it. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. CJ now is going to try some garballs. That's what we've called these, garballs. Alright, CJ wants to taste his gar over here. Alright, I've got my garball. Um, I'm going to dip it in some mayo chup because, uh, to be honest, the gar isn't that good. I'm not, I'm not liking the texture. It tastes okay, but the texture is, is not my favorite, but we're going to give this one an honest review with some mayo chup. Here we go. Mm. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Let's show it. That's a hell no. There you have it. Gar sucks for eating not for catching fun for catching I've that concludes it y'all I've, I've seen people on Facebook and you know we're probably going to post this video in some of these Facebook groups and some of you people have said gar tastes good oh yeah it just all depends on how you cook it you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to smoke it for five hours well you know what show me Show me how to do it. Show me a good gar. Leave it in the comments. Let us know how we're supposed to cook it. Because, I mean, we just seasoned it up and fried it. I don't know how you can go wrong doing that. But it was not good, y'all.
It's a big ol' no from the slab crew. If anyone wants garballs, <laughs> we have a surplus. I mean, they look so good on the outside. They look like just chicken wings. But on the inside, it's just... It's just demon fish. But that's all we got for the gar, y'all. Moving along.